vi que estás aquí Tan cerquita de mí the main reasons why this place became famous are the crystal clear light blue lagoon of Rumu Quarry and the adjacent Ash Hill. Started as early as 1938, the mining of a Salema limestone and marble used the prisoners of Muru prison as labor. Eventually, the spoil or the waste material from quarrying gradually turned into an ash hill. When the work ended, the drainage of water was stopped, causing the quarry to be flooded resulting in the industrial buildings, equipment, and trees being submerged. During the Soviet era up to the 1990s, excavation was performed as hard labor by Muru and Rumu prisoners who would excavate and process limestone from the water drained quarry. When the pumping of water stopped, the quarry quickly filled with groundwater forming a lake and immersing some of the utility buildings and machinery. I think that this place is Instagrammable indeed. There are a lot of places in the area so where you can take good photos. It's worth the 40 minute ride from Tallinn and I will show you how it looks like from here. In 2012, all prisons closed permanently and through time, the erosion by water on the quarry created an interesting effect and appearance. We'll see the view from that side. The area became a featured location for nature photography, hiking, rafting, scuba diving, and even used as a filming location for its unique layout. We will try to go to the foot of this quarry following this trail here. I don't know if you see some people uh, looping up. I'll see you at the foot of this quarry. I hope we will walk and not roll. <laughs> we will see. Adventure! The trip going down starts now. Let's go!
The territory is private property. We paid four euros each to enter the area. Much faster going down, guys. If you have a car, it is worth the 40 minute drive here in this place. Thank you for joining us in this adventure. I'm gonna add some photos from this place. See you on my next vlog. I just had to add this, guys. If you visit this place, it will cost you four euros. You can swim, they also offer diving because they are buildings which are already uh, underwater. There's also a prison on the other side. And you can have some snacks and drinks like you are having. I have mango and lime cider. As I'm driving, then I'm drinking something sparkling spritz. Without alcohol. We are now at the Kela waterfall, which is the third largest waterfall in Estonia. It is six meters high and beside it you will find the renovated hydroelectric power plant. A full six meters high and tens of meters wide, Kela Waterfall is the third most powerful waterfall in Estonia after the Narva and Yegala waterfalls. The Kela Waterfall is located on Kela River in Harju County. In the vicinity, you will also find one of the grandest renovated neo-Gothic manors in this country. The historic neo-Gothic Estonian Night Castle woke to a new life in 2013 when, after extensive renovation, it reopened its doors to guests. This is it. See you on my next vlog. Cheers.